Hey guys, welcome back to our Not So Perfect Life. I am Jason. And I'm Dylan. And today we're gonna share with you 10 tips to plan your perfect summer vacation. Let's get right into it. Yes. So, summer's right around the corner, and we want to help you to plan for the perfect summer vacation. I know this is not so perfect, but look, <laughs> we can share what we have learned to help you to pick a great place to go for the summer. Yeah, that's right. Having traveled full time for the last two years, we've learned a few things along the way, so we want to share with you those things. So right off the bat, number one, you have to ask yourself the question, how much am I willing to spend? That's right. What is my budget for this trip? You may travel full time. You may travel sometime. You may be watching this and just say, look, my traveling happens in the summer. Right, I get two weeks vacation and that's what I get. So I want to utilize it to the best. Yep. And either way, whether you're in any of those categories or somewhere in between, this video is going to be able to help you to talk about where to go, how to do it, what to think about. And so budget is something you have to start with. Oh, for sure. What's your budget? How much do you have to spend? How much do you want to spend? Correct. And what are you willing to spend? Yeah. You could definitely trim up in some areas. Maybe instead of getting that coffee four days a week, you get hey. it hey. once a week. Maybe instead of eating out from now until summer, you make all your meals at home. That's right. So there are definitely ways you can trim your budget in other places to allocate funds to a trip. And that's actually a really good point because when we think about budgeting for a trip and think about trimming, we think about how do we trim the vacation? And that's not what she's saying. Right. Start trimming now and all of those $5, $10 eating out, which is now like 30, 40, $60, that adds up, that gives you the ability to travel different this summer. So decide what your budget is gonna be, and then we'll move on to the next point. Yeah, which is point number two. How do you wanna travel? Do you wanna RV? Do you want a road trip? Do you wanna fly somewhere? Do you wanna go on an Alaskan cruise? Right, right. And don't forget about our backpacking and hiking friends. You may have to fly to a destination mm -hmm. or drive to a destination, and that's not even your vacation. Your vacation starts at the trailhead, and now you're gonna be hiking and backpacking. Decide for you what works on how you want to get to your destination, whether it be in a vehicle, a recreational vehicle, cruising, a kayak, flying, <laughs> hiking. hiking. That's what you got to decide. What do I want to do? Yeah, for sure. You do not have to own an RV in order to have an RV vacation. For sure. There are tons of different resources out there that you can find an RV to rent. Number three, decide how Far yeah. do I want to go? Do I want to deal with all of the passport and everything and go overseas? Right. Do I want to stay right within the country that I live in? Which is pretty epic, by the way. I got to say, there's a lot to see right here in the United States. I'm just saying. But there's some watchers that live in Canada, in the Philippines, yes. New Zealand, Australia, wherever else you are watching from around the world. By the way, let us know in the comments below. If you don't live in the United States, let us know where you're watching from because, Jason, there are people who watch our Not So Perfect Life all around the world. And that's true. And there's secret hidden spots that you guys will know. And we would love to hear about where we should travel if we ever come to your country. So you need to decide how far do you want to travel. Once you pick your budget, once you decide how you want to travel, those are going to help you to know how far you want to travel. So decide whether that is within your own state, outside yep. of the states. Or outside the country. Yeah. Okay, point number four. Let's take a couple of seconds to just unpackage what this concept means. Mm -hmm. Is it just a regular vacation or is it a bucket list vacation. Yes. And what do we mean when we say that? Okay. Well, those two destinations, if you will, are very different. I think so. Here's why. Because if you just say, look, guys, I don't care where I go. I don't want to be in my house. I just have to get out of here. Yeah. I don't want to be in the same place that I'm at. Yeah. I want to go somewhere new, somewhere different, somewhere outside of my house. Yeah. Vacation for me doesn't mean staycation. That means I want to bounce. If it's just 
I just want to get out, then it's not going to really matter. You can decide all within your budget, how far you want to travel, how you want to travel. Right. So anyways, our point is, if it's just a vacation you're after, then you can work all within your budget and, and many things. If it's a bucket list destination, yeah. that's something that needs to be a lot more thought out. It might be somewhere that a lot of people are going to be. Correct. It may be somewhere you need to fly to. It yep. may be somewhere that is going to require more on your budget. Yeah, because like it requires this forethought because one of my bucket list vacations is to go to the state of Alaska. Well. How much time right. do I have? How do I want to travel? And what's my budget? Well, that's going to get gobbled up real quick because mm -hmm. it's kind of expensive to get there and it's not exactly quick. And so right. if I only have a short time for vacation and my budget doesn't allow me to go to my bucket list, well, then I got to dial it back. And maybe that bucket list vacation gets planned out for next summer or two summers from now. It doesn't mean you can't take it or that you shouldn't start planning for it. Right. But what we're saying is maybe that's not realistic for this summer, but you could do it next summer. The flip side of that though is you could live somewhere, let's say within several hundred miles of the Grand Canyon and that's a bucket lister. Right. That could be attainable. So it might be something, your bucket list could be in your very own state. So yep. we're not saying you have to have a $5,000 budget no. to do your bucket list items. Maybe it's ride a hot air balloon. Oh, Maybe yeah. it's kayak down, you know, a certain river. So whatever that bucket list destination yep. is, if that is something you want to incorporate into your summer vacation, then start thinking about how you can do it. So yeah. those two things are different. This bucket list is gonna be much more pinpointed mm -hmm. and a vacation to just get out there, relax, go do something you can be much more open to. Yeah, so. and I think the simplest way to say that is I wanna go to the beach, that's vacation. I wanna go to Waikiki Beach, that's a bucket list. It's yeah. very much pinpointed, like she said. Yeah. Bonus tip. Bum, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. Okay. So actually, guys, <laughs> we're, we're interrupting your regularly scheduled program <laughs> with this bonus tip. That's yes. right, guys. You're not getting just 10. You're getting 11 tips, actually, yeah, in yeah. all of this. This video. is true. But make sure you stick around to the end to hear all the other ones. Oh, yeah. You're going to want to hear them, too. Okay. Bonus tip is this. How do I find where to go? How do I choose where to go? How do I know where to go? Okay, there are like a ton of resources out yep. there. YouTube. YouTube. Hello. Yep. We ourselves, we're a YouTube channel. Right. We have learned and saw other YouTubers and where they go and we're like, ooh. ooh. We want to go there. YouTube is a great resource for finding vacations. Yep. And there's also travel bloggers out there that you can go and read places that they've been to, what they thought of it, and where you should go. You can even go to a local library and look up travel books and destinational books and maps, and there's so much resource at your local library. Yeah, it's a little bit easier than the internet because the internet gets bogged down with what's popular and sometimes right. what's buried in the pages of a book mm -hmm. may never make it to the top side of Google. Yeah, so just go to your local library and then look in the travel section and you'll be blown away. Yeah, support your local library, <laughs> it. All right, Oops. on to the next point. Okay, number five, it is this. Be conscious and considerate of the weather when you are planning your vacation. Yes, friends. Well, what we mean by that is, is it might not be the best to plan your vacation, if you can help it, to like the Tornado Alley area of the United States when it's the worst part of the season for that. Right, or like to a tropical island during hurricane season. Yes, exactly. I mean, we're not saying don't go during these times. We're just right. saying really be aware of when you're going and where you're going and what you're planning to do when you're there. Yeah, like for instance, one of my bucket listers is Big Bend. I wanted to go there so right. bad. But for us to go this summer, it's going to be blazing hot there and it's not going to be fun to do all the hikes we want. Or and, it'll be dangerous. Right. And so we've heard if you want to go to Big Bend, the fall or the springtime yep. is the best time to go there. So look at research the weather and the place that you're going to want to go and find out 
when the best time to go. Correct. Kauai is one of our favorite <laughs> destinations. True. And for me, the best time to go is when you can whale watch, which is in between November and like March-ish. So be mindful of the best time, whether it be weather related or based upon the activities that you want to do. Correct. Carlsbad Caverns. If you want to see the bats, they're only there at a certain time of year. And so if you want to go there, make right. sure you're planning those things around those times, yeah. weather-wise and event-wise. Yeah. Number six, who do you want to spend this vacation mm -hmm. with? I want to spend my vacation with you. <laughs> I mean, do you want to go with friends? Yep. Do you want to meet up with friends? Do you right. want to go with your family, yep. take your kids, no kids, grandkids, right. best friends, yep. or even alone yeah because let's face it maybe you want to go hike the grand canyon and your spouse or your friends say you're crazy dude that's nuts. have fun yeah let me know how it goes yeah or maybe you have a group of friends that want to do that with you but maybe your spouse doesn't want to correct it's okay to divide and conquer yes that's very true and the other thing too that we have found to be very creative especially in the rv and full-time travel scenario is that let's say we go to a specific destination and it's just a few days with dylan and i and then we bring the kids back or we fly the kids in or we fly friends of theirs in to mm -hmm. explore and just be with us for a short term. You could consider that for your own vacation if you have right. kids. Let's say they go to grandma and grandpa's or an aunt and uncle's or a friend's for a few days and you go and enjoy a vacation as a couple even though you have little ones. And then maybe someone could fly across the country with your little ones. You're not handing them over to the airport, but it's someone that you trust and love, and then they could meet up with you, and yeah. you could enjoy the vacation with your kids, and you could also enjoy them alone. Or you just bring that aunt and uncle, that mom or dad or that friend with you, and maybe even have a separate hotel room for another night or two or a place to go to divide that vacation up to enjoy that one-on-one -on -one time and still have the family time yeah. as well. So when you decide who you want to go with, that is also going to depend on where you go and, and which group of people or alone that you're going to decide where you want to go, what's your budget, how yep. far. So all of these tips kind of all, there's no like particular order, if you will. Correct. They all kind of go in sync with each other. But yeah. I think going through all of these steps first before planning out your vacation is really going to help you plan for your vacation. Yeah. And by the way, thanks so much for hanging out with us. If this content is valuable to you or you find it useful, give it a thumbs up. It's really, really... <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs up. It's helpful. Everybody do your share. Thumbs up, <laughs> thumbs up. Everybody yeah. do your share. No, but genuinely, if this is like good info, you're liking it, yeah. you're appreciating this, it's valuable to you, give this video a thumbs up. Go switch to your phone if you're watching it from your yeah. TV. Give it a like, comment below, tell us that this is good stuff. Yeah, maybe even share it with somebody else who's gonna be going on vacation. You know that this yeah. is gonna be useful for them. If it would be helpful for your kids or your friends or your yep. neighbor, share it. And also, if you are not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, it will notify you whenever we come up with new content. Yep. Yeah. Okay, this might seem like a silly question to ask yourself or ask others that you're planning the vacation with, but it's really genuine and it will help navigate you through your vacation. Mm -hmm. And it's this, what do you want to do? Well, right. you may want to do separate things, jet skiing, horseback riding, camping, kayaking, racing. Or you might say, look it, my idea of a vacation is just relaxing. Yeah. But also, you might say, my idea of a vacation is seeing as many cool places and things and spaces that I can yep. in the place that I go to. Right. So deciding what you want to do is really important and asking the people that you're going to go with what they would like to do. And you're going to see why in the next few points why this is so important because you may be vacationing with somebody that has a different idea of what vacation is than you. Mm -hmm. So make sure you both or as many that are in the group are all participating and saying this is what I want to see out of the vacation. Which actually leads us into the next point which is plan wisely. Mm -hmm. All right. What do we mean by that? <laughs> like we're not trying to be mom and dad. Like right. be wise. 
wise, <laughs> plan wisely. Right. But, I mean, how many times have you heard I need a vacation oh. from my vacation. It's so true. Like you've definitely been in the office and someone's like, dude, I just got back from vacation, but like I need another vacation. I'm exhausted. Yeah. Vacation should be this. It should fill your cup, right? Right. And for some people, that's being a busybody. That is running from place to place to place and seeing and doing as much as possible and just devouring, right? Right. The vacation. You're going to New York City and I'm busy from sun up till sundown and beyond, right? Mm -hmm. And so even if you're you're the busybody, right? And you have an itinerary that is packed to the hilt full of stuff. Mm -hmm. Be mindful of that previous point that you're planning a vacation with everyone else or even yourself. Give yourself that last couple of days and yeah. start to wind the vacation down. Right. Even if it's the last day or two days, and even if it's maybe still something you want to do, make sure that it's the more low-key activity mm, yeah. of the whole trip. Maybe right. it's plan a, a wine tour, or maybe it's to go to a certain beach. Or to an see art it. gallery, something you know, that's laid back. Something that's a little less active and that can help wind you back down and like give you a bit of a respite before you go back to wherever it is that you came from. Right, so beginning of the vacation, <laughs> Hit it hard, and the last part of the vacation, kind of just look, everybody needs to calm down. Give yourself a minute. <laughs> Number nine, know your limitations. I don't really think that needs much explanation. If you get tired out from running all over the place, then slow it down in the evenings or plan half days or you know, if you're not the hiker and your husband wants to go on a 15 mile hike, <laughs> be okay that your limitation says, no thank you honey, I'll go sit by the pool, you go on the hike. Yes, and there's two folds to this. It's number one, have the safe place to be able to communicate that limitation, and the person receiving it, make sure you can receive it and don't get all butt hurt because they don't want to go <laughs> on a hike with you or do this other yeah. thing. You know what, when we went to NASCAR in the spring, she was like, look lover, I love you, but just so you know, if I'm in the fifth wheel the whole time, it ain't because I don't love you, it's because I don't really want to do NASCAR. Turns out somebody really liked NASCAR, yeah. except I was able to listen to that and say, cool, well thank you for letting me know. Yeah, no problem. If that's what happens, that's what happens. If you end up having fun, great. But know your limitations and plan accordingly to those limitations. Right. And these limitations lead us into the last point. This is a really, really great Point, guys we kind of saved the best for last oh and yeah that is this don't make your vacation everyone else's yeah yeah if you're not going alone and you're going with friends or your kids or grandparents or whoever you're going with don't make what you want to do everyone else's right right yeah you can do some things that you want to do but like again if somebody doesn't want to do that right. don't be like you have to go and we have to spend this time together. Or what you enjoy, somebody may not enjoy it as much as you and so don't force that expectation or experience on somebody else and that's really right. what the core of what this thing says, right? Right. I wish we could take credit for <laughs> yeah, this point. Yeah, because it's a brilliant quote. But truthfully, we heard this in a YouTube video from KYD. Yep. And Trish said it. Honestly, I couldn't even remember what video it was. It but was I, years ago. But I do remember what she said specifically, and it has just really helped us to think about it all the time as we are on the road full time. We're always like, oh yeah, don't make this trip everyone else's. Correct. Like, if we are enjoying road tripping and looking outside and right. all the mountains and our kids are like, cool. Yeah. Mm. We like stopping and smelling the roses on the trail, yeah. right? Our yeah. kids are like, just right. whatever. Hey, can we keep going? We're like, yeah, sure. Keep going. Just, just, going up. Yep. just stay in the whoop distance <laughs> so we can whoop at you and you yeah. hear us and we know you're safe. Which is a family noise we have and it's whoop. Yeah. It's, but anyways, we don't try to make our experience or our vacation theirs, and we want to encourage right. you to do the same thing. Yeah. Thank you, KYD. Thank you, Trish. That was a phenomenal quote, yeah. and it's something we have never forgotten. Yeah. Don't make your experience everyone else's, but enjoy, and know that you have the right to enjoy your own experience, and so do they. Yep. 
Hey, and by the way, if you have a tip that we haven't said at any point today, make sure you put it in the comments below. Because as much as you might be learning from us, we certainly and the community can be learning something from yeah. you as well. And everybody can read down below what you think is a good tip. Oh yeah. So make sure that you share your own travel tips for the whole community to be able to learn from you too. Oh yeah, we absolutely have a vibrant and a live community. So if you want to be a part of it, jump in the comments below. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. We have had a ton of fun sharing these tips. It is the things that we use when we travel and we hope that you find them useful and can put them to use for yourself. Go out there and make everyday life beautiful and enjoy planning your own vacations. And we will see you guys in the next one. That's right. Peace.